All right, guys, this is the pharmacology discussion for blood pressure and pain medications. Uh, the question for the discussion is, uh, giving morphine for pain will drop blood pressure, and fentanyl does not most of the time. Why does this happen? So the research that I found um, was actually kind of interesting. Uh, you can look at the article. It's, the article is called Effectiveness and Safety of Fentanyl Compared with Morphine for Out-of-Hospital Analgesia, uh, or however you say that. Um, but mostly it said that uh, between fentanyl and morphine, the uh, and it's written by five doctors who did a, uh, a some kind of uh, either a controlled or uncontrolled study, but it's got the all the specifics in it. But anyway, um, for the most part, both drugs had similar levels of pain relief and relatively low adverse effects. Um, Giving in, given in the same uh, dose-related uh, doses. So like the equivalent of 7 milligrams of morphine for fentanyl uh, is kind of how they measured that. However, uh, so fentanyl does keep blood pressure from dropping just because it has, uh, does it a little bit better than morphine from its lack of uh, myocardial depression. Uh, it also has uh, an absence of histamine release because it's a synthetic uh, narcotic, so it doesn't have to deal with that. Uh, it also suppresses the stress response, um, which just helps uh, keep everything hemodynamically stable. So uh, that's kind of what I figured out. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks.